Hi, I'm Joel Hartz. I'm a filmmaker and producer, and over the years I've worked on a lot of different kinds of projects. Everything from interviews to music videos, all the way to like indie films. With each project, we always end up finding like some new challenge that we have to overcome. Most of these challenges we're all familiar with. Budget, time, scheduling, or even just logistics. But as filmmakers, we have to be prepared to find solutions for all these different challenges. Now usually, pre-production is that opportunity. It's the time we set aside so that we can not only discover all of the different challenges that we can foresee, um, but also make plans to address them and find solutions for them. But, you know, film production is unpredictable and there's always some wild card and thing popping up at the last minute that you have to kind of squash or find a solution for. And that's why I believe that problem solving is one of the most important skills that we have to develop as filmmakers, no matter what department you're in. Let me give you an example from a recent project that I worked on of a challenge that popped up literally right before we started filming. I was working on a CMT Ram truck promo for the Artist of the Year Awards. Pre-Pro went pretty smooth, leaving us with only like one kind of last obstacle to overcome, and that was a, our final location for the hero shot. Basically, it needed to be a shot where the truck could be in the foreground, and then you have the city of Nashville in the background, so it was a little bit more of a challenge. But everything else was lined up, so going into our tech scout, which was the Friday before the shooting, which was on a Monday, um, we still didn't have that location locked, but by the end of the tech scout, our location manager was able to secure the location, and when we get there, you know, it's just like this parking lot. So our DP was like, wanted a wet down, because he's like, look, I need something to kind of make this pop more, especially the foreground. He's like, it just looks kind of boring and bland. So what that meant was that, you know, we had a new challenge in front of us now that we hadn't anticipated and, you know, we really couldn't anticipate it at this point because we had no idea what this final location was going to end up looking like. You know, it could have been grass, it could have been dirt, whatever. So I started going down the usual solutions, um, looking for like trying to schedule water trucks or even trying to see if we can get hydrant access, um, but none of that stuff was panning out. So we realized that we needed to find a little more creative solution to this problem. So I sat down with my art director and we started kind of working, trying to workshop this to figure out if we can find a solution to this challenge. And that's when it came to me. Like I had these two 55 gallon rain barrels basically just empty, just sitting at the house. And I was like, well, what if we just put a submersible pump in one, filled them up, threw them on the back of a truck, and then create our own water truck? All right, so the question is, like, did this work? That's how you remotely wet down a set. <laughs> As you can see, it looked kind of silly while we are doing the wet down, but despite the kind of DIY approach, I'd say it actually worked out well enough. Is it perfect? Would a water truck be better? Absolutely. But we didn't have those options available to us, so I'd still count this as a success. What do you think? Do you think it was successful? I think it was. So in this case, we had the budget, but just not enough time to arrange for the most optimal solution. So if you ever find yourself in a similar situation, then by all means, use this DIY hack to solve your wet down problems. <laughs> that sounds kind of weird. But most importantly, just be flexible and always ready to find an out of the box creative solution to whatever challenge that you face on set. So I'd love to know your thoughts on this and or any other creative solutions or DIY hacks that you've used on set in order to successfully get the shot. And if you find value in this, then I ask that you simply subscribe or even just share it with someone you think that would also find value in it too.